Samadhi brings us to non-duality. What is non-duality? Non-duality is just as I said, it is the ceasing of having a subject-object relationship and not being anything, but being everything at the same time. And my foundation of knowledge with non-duality comes from Vedanta. Vedanta is a collection of scriptures that came after the Vedas thousands of years ago. Vedanta literally means no other. Through these Vedantic teachings, there's a, a lot of benefit to studying them when working with 5-MeO-DMT. As 5-MeO-DMT, as it gives us this non-dual experience, if we don't have a foundation of knowledge or understanding of it, it can be a huge, huge shock. This is one of the medicines that sometimes can do more harm than it can good if we're not prepared for it. So preparation is of utmost importance, not only making sure we're not uh, interfering with any medical contraindications, but making sure that we uh, have a bit of understanding of what's gonna happen afterwards. Unlike a lot of other psychedelics, the difficult part can be coming back instead of coming in. With NNDMT, it's a cannon, you know, you are being blasted out there and everything is happening so fast that that can be the difficult part. With 5-MeO-DMT, there's not too much of a chance to fight it. But when you come back, that's the interesting part. As the default mode network starts to come back online, the ego starts to wake up. It has to get its footing. It's confused, it's lost, it's insecure, and it's usually the insecurities that come up first. Let's say you're sitting in circle and you're in the center of circle, you've just gone through your experience, and as you start to come back, the mind starts to come back and you go, okay, I did a, a medicine, I did a substance, I'm starting to understand what's happening now. Oh man, maybe I've been here for a long time. Is everyone at the circle judging me right now? Should I get up? Have I been here forever? So it's very interesting to watch the mind as it comes back with all of its beautiful imperfections. And I think that's why this is really a gift for this age, is we haven't priorly been given something so accessible that can help us understand totality of reality in such a quick and uh, very real way. As the young lady back there said, it's an extremely real experience. You come back and there was no doubt in your mind that what you just experienced was uh, being God. You have just been all pervasive source. And then comes life. So what I'd like to speak a little bit about is how do we integrate that into our daily lives? Just like I tell my yoga students, it's easy to find peace on a yoga mat. How are you going to feel when you're stuck on the 405 in traffic afterwards? How are you going to be when you're at home during Thanksgiving with your parents and you're engaging in a family quarrel? And especially with 5-MeO-DMT, because with 5-MeO-DMT, if especially it's your first time, your world has just been rocked. It is, uh, things have changed. I know after my first full release with this medicine, it, uh, it put the pause in me for a little while. It, um, not in a bad way, but just, it really, really forced me to confront and observe the paradigm in which I had been existing and all the thought patterns that I had built up around myself as my spiritual belief system. And the ego loves to hold on to our spiritual beliefs. The ego loves to hold on to whatever lineage we are working with or whatever shamanic practice we are working with. It's part of the spiritual trap. It's what happened to religion. It's uh, why people ended up going to war over God. We love to hold on and possess that which releases us and frees us. So don't do that. <laughs> just, just don't. <laughs> Understanding that it is not something that has to be done. Nothing has to be done while you're under on this medicine. It is simply the act of surrendering. So if you are preparing for an experience with 5-MeO-DMT, if you are interested in it, remember the word surrender. <laughs> that is the only thing that matters. And it can be the hardest thing for us is to let go because we hold on to so much. And when something just shakes us up like that, and if the mind is still active, the mind realizes that it's being shut down, the ego realizes that it's being ripped away so fast, it can produce an experience of a uh, feverish hell. And we just have to face that and simply let go and surrender deeper and deeper and deeper until there is nothing left to surrender to enlist, till there is no us to surrender. And, um, and then we all can just relax a little bit. It's, uh, that's been the greatest gift for me with this medicine is feeling of arrival, not having to chase anything anymore. Just um, understanding that everything is as it is. And this does not mean pers don't pursue happiness. This doesn't mean give up and just be complacent. 
But um, just know that Tadvamasi, thou art that. We are already it, that which we seek.